Welcome to our new series, Road to the Multiverse of Madness, where we will discuss four different Marvel properties we think will show up in the new Doctor Strange movie. In our second episode of this series, we discuss the highly acclaimed Disney Plus show, WandaVision. All right, Danny. So, WandaVision. Dude, this show was so good, but it did not start off that way, did it? No. It was uh, yeah, first two episodes, and kind of lackluster. You know, It's more about the mystery instead of the, the actual, like, show that we kind of get in our bearings the first couple episodes so. yeah because the whole thing with like mr hart choking like that's where it kind of got a little mysterious yeah. in the first episode yeah and then the second episode it was like the helicopter lands the beekeeper that that whole yeah little thing and everything but it was okay you don't really have me i'm glad they de- debuted two episodes at once there yeah because <laughs> i would have been so not interested in the show. Yeah, third episode was more of the that, they're in the seventies, right? That's when like yeah, Wanda very, has very sitcom, very um, oh, what's that show? Uh, the Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. Yeah. Brady Bunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't I think of that? Yeah. Um, scenes I want to talk about with that episode where uh, where Monica is talking about um, Ultron and Pietro. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, yeah. so they she like brought up like a like basically a PTSD memory. And that triggered Wanda. So at this point, we don't know that Wanda's really in control of everything right now. No. So she, it's kind of we're, she kind of has like a like a flashback, and then like we have we see we see like the TV she, screen glitch, and you know like all of a sudden Monica's out of the show, and they and go to credits. Yep. And you know? then well, no, they don't go to credits. They uh, they blast her outside of um, yeah yeah they blast her outside of the hex, and then yeah, yeah. the the scene that I remember I remember that scene so vividly because they start playing Voodoo Child. By, oh uh, yeah, by uh, Jimi Hendrix. And uh, it was it was like a great kind of like because like it's perfect for the time period that they're in because they're in the seventies and uh, well yeah, I was thinking that was probably more sixties though anyway yeah. but um, they they were able to kind of create the eerie vibe and kind of like like holy crap like something just happened you know yeah so that really got us hooked a little bit I think episode four is where I really got hooked though because it started off. It's when they when, start explaining stuff. Yeah, no, it started off with Monica, and she gets snapped back from the blip. Yeah, that was so cool, man. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy Woo coming back from Ant Man and the Wasp, like the brightest spot of that movie. Oh, I love Jimmy Woo. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. When over the radio, when he, when he's saying like Wanda, can you hear us, Wanda? I always, I thought that was Captain America. I was yeah. like, because he's he yeah, sounds like, a little that, similar. I'm like, oh my god, is it Cap? Yeah, that was that was yeah, episode three. That would have been really but, cool. But, oh. Jimmy Woo is a good, you know, because like he's he was great in Ant Man and the Wasp, and I'm glad that like gave him like a bigger role because he's, he's like, how'd you do it, Scott? How'd you make the card disappear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and four is just kind of the recap of everything that happened in the first three episodes, but from outside the hex. Yeah, so and I, I like that. That's like that's when like because everyone's kind of getting mad on Twitter. At the time, you know, like, what, like, what's going on? What's this mystery? And everyone's just like, wait till episode four. It'll all be explained. So and then episode five, Agatha says something like, oh, do you, do you want to take it from the top? Like, yeah, that, it's like she, she knows she, she's part of the TV universe. It's like little yeah. cracks in like the, in the, and then one is like, what? Wait, what? Like, well, we're not, you know, you're breaking my, uh, my immersion right yeah. now. Uh, then in Hayward actually, uh, Shows them footage of Wanda stealing, quote unquote, quote unquote, stealing, quote unquote yeah. Vision's body. But they never actually see her taking Vision's body. Yeah. They just see her showing her powers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And at this point, well, she had her kids in episode three. But now at this point, they age up at age five. They're like, rapidly. I was like, whoa, that yeah. was weird, man. I, I figured, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't too surprised. I'm just like, they gotta, like, they gotta do that. And it's a weird fiction world that we're, that we're in. So it's like, it's whatever. I, I assumed something fishy was going on, and you know, we turned out to be Wanda doing her thing. They mentioned aerospace engineer. Yeah, I yeah. was hyped. I, we I, were both. I like, was hyped. Is that Reed Richards? Yeah. Like, oh. Unfor- I mean, it still could be. It still. They don't could mention be. by the name. I don't think. They, do they? they do mention the person. Ah, they show the person. It sucks. It's man. just some random person. They, the perfect Marvel. What are you doing? It's a perfect perfect opportunity right but there. Not some other random person. Pietro shows up, yeah. but it's not our Pietro. It's yeah. Evan Peters from the it's X-Men Ralph universe. Boner. <laughs> no, we don't talk about Ralph. We Boner. don't talk about Ralph Boner. All right, uh, we haven't talked. What well, we haven't talked about up to this point was the intros that they had. All the intros in this show were just awesome. Yeah, like, especially the Malcolm in the Middle one. That yeah. one was in all the songs, especially the Malcolm in the Middle, middle one. It um, it's like don't try to fight, don't try to fight, uh, fight the illusion. The madness, don't let the madness pull you in, or like, or something like that. 
But like I remember, I remember watching that because I was editing in my uh, my supercut. <laughs> I watched watched that over and over and over again. But um, they all have like an eerie kind of tone. Like um, the Modern Family one, it just has Wanda, 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 like all in like different letters coming up, like as if somebody's warning her. Mm-hmm. And which we we found out is not it's not told explicitly in the show. We found out that was Doctor Strange potentially, like with the commercials, he was trying to send messages to her um, in her mind or whatever. To like yeah. let her know, like, hey, this is this is kind of messed up. <laughs> exactly. In episode seven, now that's where we are. Um, Monica meets up with Wanda again at this point. Don't let them make me the vil- make you the villain. And then Wanda says, "Maybe I already am." I was like, "That's a and that's, that's a line." <laughs> that like, all I want in the MCU is for Wanda to be the villain, to be the big bad. That would be so cool. Having like the, like because we had a little bit like hero on hero in Civil War. But like to see like an actual hero go full on bad that we love and care about, you know, yeah. and we understand that's that's why Thanos is so great because we understood his motivation. We understand Wanda's motivation versus wanting to not suffer anymore, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. So I I want her to be to be the big bad in the in the next couple movies or so, or maybe even at large. Well, in the entire MCU. we're not we're not there. We're not yet. there yet. We're not there yet. We're still on the episodes. So uh, episode eight. Um, so we get the whole backstory behind Agatha. She's turned out to be Agatha all along. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we go through Wanda's past, like point by point, like from her childhood to with Vision at the Avengers compound. Vision just also says at one point, what is grief if not love persevering? Yeah. Such a great line. They great have so line. many good lines in this show, man. That whole episode is like the crowning achievement for that show. Honestly. I th- I mean, it's my favorite episode. I'm a mm-hmm. sucker for backstory. Me too. So, you know, to see to see all these different scenes, like kind of tent poles in Wanda's life, um, kind of be told to us, like, this is, that's, that's basically all you need. Yeah, then you also know? her getting her powers, too, and then you see the silhouette yeah. of the Scarlet Witch coming down and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, foreshadowing that she's going to be Very big the Scarlet foreshadowing Witch. for episode nine when she becomes the Scarlet Witch. Yep. And then basically, you know, just Wanda, Agatha fight the whole time. It's, it's, not, it's not the best season finale. There's the line that kind of makes me intrigued. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Wanda says to the kids before she puts them to bed for good, supposedly... Uh, thanks for choosing me to be your mom. I don't, we'll get into that in just a second. I don't have any answers for that one. It's, I, it's weird. I'm, I'm on the side that it was just kind of written in there to be like a weird kind of like wholesome line. Like, you know, thank you. You know, like, I appreciate you being, okay. you know, being a family. But you think it has deeper meaning. For now, in this part of the episode, we're going to be discussing, you know, just certain parts of this show that we think are going to show up in Doctor Strange. So... This, I think, we saw all the teasers and everything for Multiverse of Madness. And that last teaser that we saw, the Dreams teaser, it they show Billy and Tommy again. Well, I, so that leads me to believe, because it's titled, the TV, TV spot's titled Dreams, I'm led to believe that that's just a vision. They're not actually back. It's, you know, it's it back in the, in the old WandaVision house. And I, I don't think it's going to be, but we know there's I don't think it's going to be as important. Witches, though, in this movie. We know there's going to be two of them at least. Agatha's going to be in it. No, no, no. Two Scarlet Witches. So two. Oh Wandas. yeah, because there's going to be yeah. There's going to be multiple Wandas. So like, I have. I, I don't know. I I've I've seen Marvel trailers enough to know that like the really cool, important looking scenes are not really important usually, or even faked. So I'm. I can I'm ca- dream, Danny. <laughs> ha, ha. ha. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, other things that we can. Uh, Kind of going more in depth about is the aerospace engineer. So that could just be foreshadowing for Doctor Strange because we think, you know, it's a good possibility Reed Richards shows up in some form or another in this movie. Well, yeah, because in the, in the trailer, there was an Illuminati looking panel of guys. So obviously we know Professor X is in there. Well, we don't know for sure. If they, we still if, haven't seen them. If they, if they like, <laughs> if they, do, if they do that, mm, mm, <laughs> you're not. If they pull another Ralph Boner. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, Reed Richards could show up. I think that would be a cool kind of stepping stone to get get us to Fantastic Four. I think there's gonna be some mutants in there too. You know, that could be like opening the doors a little wider because we got the Avengers are kind of split up at this point. Or they're not there, or they're dead, or whatever. Well, and as we talked about in our last episode from Multiverse of Madness, 
what if the Spider Man show up? Like that could be really cool as well. That would be cool. If Sam Raimi <laughs> is, you know, Sam Raimi's directing, so Toby could come back. Exactly. Or even Andrew Garfield. Who knows? I mean, who knows? We thought he'd show up in, you know, Morbius, but well, that didn't happen. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, that was disappointing. <laughs> that universe is it's a mess. Confusing. Um, Monica, she might show up. It, we've seen that one shot of that Captain Marvel looking person. Is that Maria or is that Monica? We don't know yet. Like, good or point. Is it even, or it could be, I mean, Carol, but I doubt it's Carol. Um, I don't want Carol to be there. Nobody wants Carol. I don't want to, no. Nobody <laughs> wants that. But I, I would be fine with either Maria or Monica, honestly. Yeah. Or even a new character. We don't know. It could be someone completely new. I mean, we, I, I know nothing about America Chavez. Apparently, she's going to be in it. Yes. So. Because she's like a dimension slash time hopper type of deal. She has uh, that is, whole, is that how we're going to be? I she's think We're so. using her powers to go to the different. Okay, that makes sense. I think sense. so. It, it makes sense to introduce her in this movie. Uh, okay. Agatha. We might get Agatha, too. I, I think what they would do with Agatha is they would do like a quick glimpse of her, like being like the, the housewife or whatever, the nosy neighbor. Mm -hmm. I think they would just show her real quick, get it over with, you know, bring back... Uh, Catherine Hahn, she's great. So, oh god, she's getting her own show. Yeah, so yeah, I'd I, like to see like her back because we got a little bit of it in in this in this show, but, Wandavision. But so. Where does that show? You know, we're not here to talk about that show. Yeah, we're here to talk about Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness. Road to it. This podcast is madness. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it is definitely madness. Um, who else could show? Who do you think might show up? Like from this Wandavision show, anybody else or anything weird that we might? Expect? I'd like to see Ghost Rider. I think that's that not from this show. Oh, from this show. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, Vision can come back. That's a good. Point. Again, Vision could. Well, which for one? a third which time? We, well, actually, White White Vision's the only Vision left. Well, so we're going to different multiverses. Exactly. Right? Universes. Yeah. So we could get anyone. Literally. It could literally be anyone showing up in this movie. And I'm a little, like I said in the last episode, I'm a little concerned that um, they cut out a half hour of this show or this movie. Well, you don't know that. It was going well. No, it was going to be two and out two hours and thirty six minutes. Now it's two hours okay, and six. They minutes. never said that specifically. They that was just a guess by people that kept going around the internet. They don't know. That oh, for sure. oh, you told me that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two hours and six minutes is the official runtime. Okay. The, like obviously, I think the first cut was probably somewhere around two and a half, three hours. But you know, they got to make it tight. I trust Sam Raimi fully with this. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he made our childhood. He made our childhoods. He did. So, yeah. I mean, we don't talk about the third one, but, you know, the first two. <laughs> I was so hyped just, for that third one. Hey, two for three. I mean, I'll, I'll take a 66%. I mean. Yeah. Um, it's passing. Um, in our next episode, I think we got a little more time. We got Loki. We yeah. got some. Uh, got some oh, what if? I, what if Loki showed up? Oh, man. Uh, let's not get into that right now, but. Oh, God. If Loki shows up in this, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so in the uh, the next episode here for Road to Multiverse of Madness, we're going to talk about Loki, everything involved with that show, and just is he going to show up in Multiverse of Madness? That's, that's the whole spiel we got here. So it's been an honor for now. We'll catch you next time.